I heard an exorcist legate named Melchior took him away. I don't know anything beyond that. Neither do I. What about you, Mogilu? Word is he was taken away about a year ago. Caused quite a stir if I remember right. Everything about him was kept a tight secret. No one even knew what he was in. Eifried is an ordinary human, right? Yeah. He doesn't have the abilities of an exorcist. And he isn't a demon either. I mean, if they were just trying to bust up his gang, why capture him but leave the crew free? If not his gang, what business does the Abbey have with him then? We've cast our nets wide and can't come up with any explanation. We'll free him though. His place is on the sea with us. And you're convinced he's still alive? They wouldn't have any problems killing a pirate who caused them trouble. If the Abbey took him alive and for questioning, it means he has something they really want. But he isn't the type to change his ways or bend his knee on anyone's orders. He holds his own tiller. Precisely. Anyway. Hello, everyone. Good morning. And, uh, I'm your host, Ahira Kuriman, and this is the new chapter of Tales of Pisaria. But, uh, well, uh, I, nothing, I, I guess we're gonna go on and hop into it. I mean, I mean, I have nothing really to talk about today, and, um, uh, well, anyway, let's go. Why did you come back to us? I could tell you all missed me something awful. We didn't. At all. And what about your search for this traitor? He slipped away yet again. I've no clue where he ran off to. You're a witch. Can't you use a spell or something? My spellcraft works kind of like a three-legged race. It simply requires my backstabbing slippery accomplice. Like a con artist needs an accomplice. I am yep. not a con artist! I'm not going to help you find your traitor, you know. How cold! Such an icy stare could freeze fire! And you don't have anyone else? Hmm. Well, no. Do you have a home to return to? Nope. Do you know a trade other than magic? Nope. Uh, what is it, Lafayette? Um... Magilu's story made my chest feel funny. And my nose is runny. The witch has no friends, no home, and no purpose. I think what you're feeling is pity. Pity? It's when you feel sorrow for someone else. I... pity Mogilu. Oh, come on! <laughs> wow. Oh, Mogilu. Oh, you're such waifu. Ah. Uh, such waifu. Well, anyways, here we go. Leap, leap, leap. Frame drop. Run. Ah. Ready. Nope. But I'm just. I won't miss. Form zero. Ow. No escape. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Yeah. Okay. Beginning of each battle, each character remains a down battle amount of PP. Based on the total number of star gained through the repeated art, uh, usage across all characters are. This provides the incentive to every art available. By gaining this proficiency with all of the characters' art, you can recover up upwards any one BG every battle. Adventures encounters double BG restoration while back back encounters. No fight completely. Completely. <laughs> ah, it's a dodo. 
It's a dodo. Oh. Hey, hey. Run. Okay. I ran. Wow. Ah. Those walls. They're so huge. Yep. That's Logris, the capital of the Empire. They keep demons out by enclosing the city within a great wall. Yep. Humanity has achieved great things on the backs of slave Malakim. Why the surprise, Lafayette? You've been here before, right? I have. But back then, I was not who I am now. I see. Tethered Malakim aren't even allowed the freedom to observe their surroundings. <sighs> we'll soon lose such freedom ourselves. Huh? We've reached the heart of the Empire, and of the Abbey. Soldiers and exorcists are stationed all around. This is no place for a collection of villains like us. I'm not looking for a place. All I need to find is Artorius. That's it. Yes, Miss I'm useless. What are you gonna do? You gonna go run off again? Huh? Huh? Yeah. You gotta stick inspection. with that. They won't inspect everyone. Just act natural. Your face is all stiff. Yeah. Oh, no. Blessings upon that first one. You, in the black coat. Show me your documentation. Uh, it's between my um, beds. Well, your travel permit from the Abbey, where is it? I told you, it's between my boobs. <laughs> Foolish girl, how many times have I told you? A magician's apprentice must wear a pleasant grin. Magician? Verily, I present to you the traveling troupe of mischievous misfits known across the land as... Magilou's Menagerie! Entertainment for the ceremony? Why, yes, indeed we are, my dear. Please pardon my uncouth apprentice. Girl, allay the good man's fears and show him the dove trick you've spent all these weeks on. Go to! Huh? Oh, uh, sorry, mistress. I forgot to prepare. Y y you pathetic little shirker! A proper performer is perpetually prepared! It's fine. Doves flying around would be a nuisance. This will not do. If you cannot summon a dove, then act like one! Act like a dove! Coo coo. Whoa! Yay! Remember! Not totally Mommy useless. Menagerie manufactures mirth! That was just a small sample for the good citizenry of Logris. Hey, you can't advertise here! Move along! As you say! Yeah. <laughs> that was a fine ploy, Mogilu. Well, don't expect tricks like that every day. Cuckoo. <laughs> oh, that murderous gaze! Cuckoo! Those doves were amazing! Just a crude trick. If anything, it just shows the capital's defenses are pathetic. More like it shows how much confidence they have in those defenses. How many soldiers are here, Lafayette? The number of exorcists in the capital? At least a thousand. And two divisions of guards. I'd expect no less from the capital. They're not careless. They're covered. We need transit documents. See how the citizens smile? To think they were fleeing from demons just a few years ago. To hold an observance of this scale shows just how much peace their power has brought. A peace paid for with Luffy's... Velvet? Yeah. Luffy sacrifice. In order for peace to go around, uh, somebody has to die. That's usually how it goes. 
this like back when the Mayans used to sacrifice people to the gods. Or the sun god. I think that was a Mayan. Is that the Mayan? Oh well. Anyway, it was something like that. But anyway, this is the same thing that's going down here. Oh, I got people to talk to. Oh, no. Yo, stop. The Abbey's okay. job is getting harder and harder. We've all got to give them our full support. Uh, let's backtrack a bit. Just what sort of organization is this, Abbey? You're kidding me. How do you not even know that? The Abbey is part of Midgan's Church of the Empyreans. Originally, it was an order of paladins and warrior priests devoted to exercising evil. Yeah. The Abbey's official name is the Exorcist Abbey of the Church of Midgand. Nowadays, its members are all called exorcists. I'm impressed. You've done your research. So basically, they're just one branch of the church, right? For a side branch, they don't really strike me as humble. Of course not. The High Priest entrusted all his power to the Abbey's leader, Lord Artorius. He's effectively retired. So the Abbey's leader is at the top of the entire church. That's not all. The Prince also gave Lord Artorius authority over all military and government affairs during the crisis. Lord Artorius commands Midgan now, and has formed a new theocracy to combat the Demon Blight. And that is the origin of the Holy Midgan Empire. The Abbey is its foundation, and its ray of hope. Well, okay, got it. The Abbey's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, the Abbey's big deal. A really big deal that we need to take care of. Right now, Prince Percival is the one ruling Midgand. He's oh, really? the Crown Prince. The Crown Prince? What happened to the King? The yeah. King is in good health, but he's decided to withdraw from public life and leave the kingdom to Prince Percival. He declared what? that a new way of thinking was needed to save the world from this crisis. <laughs> This king sounds like quite the guy. Prince Percival is incredible, too. He's following in the footsteps of the king by working hand in hand with Lord Artorius in the Abbey. As long as we have Lord Artorius and Prince Percival, the future of Midgand is bright. Ask anyone. <laughs> Got it. So all of Midgand is on Artorius' side. Yep. That's what happens when you're an exorcist. Everybody favors you. And you're just a demon. That nobody likes. Saving. 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 Complete. And we, we go. Say. Mommy, when's the hey. prince gonna talk? The exorcists are coming too, right? I'm sure they will, dear. People are saying it's going to be a very important announcement about the Abbey. I want to see the exorcists! We need to thank them for saving us from the demons! You're right. We all have to show them our gratitude and help them however we can. Yeah, I'll follow the rules too. I won't be selfish. They sure are popular. Because these people don't know the truth. You think that's so? That the exorcists are fighting the demons they themselves cannot. That's why the people support the exorcists. May I have your attention? It is I, Percival Asgard, Crown Prince of the Midgand Empire. His Majesty, my father, and I are pleased to celebrate with you on this auspicious day. The ceremony started. 
It will be impossible to slip in. After the opening, ten years ago, our kingdom faced an existential threat, both from demons and the terrible spread of demon blight. However, one man raised yeah. a miraculous sword and stood so that the body and soul of the land Over there. would not be you lost. You can climb up if you want, but attacking now would and be suicide. And the name of that man was Artorius <laughs> Colbrand! <laughs> Trust are unfamiliar with Artorius' noble act. To bring us salvation from demons, he sacrificed everything. But he's a murderer. He called Lord Inominat, one of the five Imperians, and blessed us with the strength of the Malachim. But he's a murderer! He serves as a shining beacon of reason in this world of turmoil. And reason is what binds us. But you killed him. You took everything that I loved. So raise your voices in praise to Artorius's devoted work. To the savior who purifies evil and guides our flock. Let us call him our shepherd. Yeah. Even though the world was filled with suffering, I had to ask something tremendous of you all. I entrusted you to endure the pains of reason. I asked you to bind yourselves with shackles of your own will. For the only blade that can expel calamity is one forged from unshaking reason and the iron will to do what must be done. And now that very blade stands ready before all of us today. I offer my body and my life in service to the people of this great land. With the blessings of the Empyrean in Nominat, I will guide you to a world without calamity. Bye. And this world's suffering will be nothing but a distant memory. Da, 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 da. But you're the one who murdered. <sighs> Fool, they'll see us. You're the one who killed Lothi said. What? The Shepherd Artorius. That's who you're after? Oh, and here I was hoping you'd just straight up pounce on him. That would be certain death. I need a sword of reason and will. That's the only thing that can kill him. Killing Lord Artorius? Playing it safe? Boring! Regrettably, okay. it is at this juncture we go our separate ways. I've got a bit of hunting to do. No one's And there you me. go, running off. Goodbye. Yeah. Farewell. May your days be fruitful and your nights tormented. Go on, go get if our Grobble enemy's again. calling himself a shepherd, gonna be he won't there be... to save you this time. Let's take this slowly. The old man behind him. Melchior, I take it? Yeah. Let's gather information on these people. If we know what they're planning, we can find a weakness. They're the most powerful men in the land. If we're going to look into them, we need a lead first. Aizen, do you have any underworld contacts in the capital itself? Like your friend at the port? I don't go inland much, I'm afraid. 
But Eifried has close ties to a shadow guild. A tavern in the city, run by an old man called Baskerville, serves as a front for them. A shadow guild? Those sorts of things actually exist? Yeah. Ugh. Hey! <laughs> that settles it. Let's head to that tavern. They'll have food, I'm sure. Why not? My stomach made a weird noise. That's another sign that you're alive. Shepherd Artorius will make it through this era of disaster. Shepherd Artorius? How pompous can you get? Artorius has already seized control of all religious and secular power in Midgand. But now that he's taken on this new title, he's no longer just an authority figure. He's become the very hope of the masses. A dangerous opponent indeed. After seeing that, will you still fight him? Of course I will. He could be a god for all I care. I'll have my vengeance, no matter what. Artorius's speech was so wonderful. I teared up halfway through. I was I so worried when the demons appeared. I'm so glad I put my faith in the Abbey. The exorcists put their lives on the line to protect us. We've got to do what we can to help. I want to marry the shepherd when I grow up. Now that's popularity. Ignorance is bliss. I think that's the truth. Hi. Beep. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Hold on. The exorcists sure were out in full force to see the shepherd's inauguration, weren't they? What about that guy you're after? Was he there? What, and have to stand around looking all proper? No, that's not his style. Then I thought he was one of the top exorcists. That wouldn't matter to him. Huh. All right. Actually, Velvet, speaking of the shepherd, I noticed he wasn't using his right arm. Was he hurt or something? Yeah. He was badly wounded a long time ago. He lost the use of his sword arm. That's what I figured. But don't get the wrong idea. He's still a master swordsman with his left arm. I can tell that from the way he moves. His movements are steady and measured, and his chi is centered below his navel. Huh? Why does that matter? Some people say that all the body's spiritual energy gathers about two finger widths below the navel. Even when he appears to be in a state of total peace, his guard is never down. He's a formidable adversary. And I think I know why my target has placed himself at Artorius's side. Because now I want to take Artorius down, too. Cool. Now we have accommodation. Well, it's not mean. Uh, well, it's not like we already had accommodation, but, uh, yeah. We already had accommodate. We have accommodation now. I mean, it's not like we're already already accommodated by, uh, us. So, uh, yeah. I talked to the priest or the pope or whatever Come, he is. Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Repent? Are you talking to me? Yes. When I look at your vestments around your chest, your hips, 
I can tell your sins are many and deep. Say that again. <laughs> exactly. I'm staring at. Well, mankind is rife with sin. And I am no different. You must acknowledge your misdeeds and confess them to the great Empyreans. By confronting your sinful urges, you will be empowered to resist them. Is that so? You're saying I just need to confess all the bad things I've done? Yes. Confess your darkest sins, my child, assured that none is beyond the forgiveness of the Empyreans. Empyreans, hear my confession. When I was in prison, I instigated a riot and used it to break myself out. Huh? Then I set fire to some warehouses in town and stole a ship to make my getaway. Then I teamed up with some to destroy a military fortress. I killed anyone who got in my way. What? What do you think, Father? Will the Empyreans forgive me? I... Uh, uh, think you should turn yourself into the Abbey and let them help you repent. That's... I'm already planning on going to the Abbey. You see, I'm going to kill their boss, Artorius. I, I need an exorcist over here! Quick! Somebody! Anybody! <laughs> That's... about how I figured it'd go. That was a good one. Ah, that was a good one. Yeah. I'll take that 10,000 G. That is one impressive cathedral. It fits the capital. Yes. It's incredible. Hmm. It's as I heard. It wasn't built using Moloch arts, but the latest architectural engineering techniques. Look at those arches. The mathematical logic. The structural ornamentation. This is an architectural marvel. So, is that Empyrean in there? I highly doubt it. Empyrean worship has become mostly symbolic over the years. This cathedral wasn't built as a place of worship. It's commemorative, to celebrate the continent's unification. In other words, a show of power. That explains why they spared no expense. It's too early to be impressed. This is just the entrance, and it's unfinished. They're constructing a colossal temple inside here. They say it'll take centuries to complete. Centuries? That's insane. How could they think that's a good idea? Your guess is as good as mine. I suppose that sometimes, humans just have a need to push their limits. Yeah, seriously. The Reaper yeah. and a Demon are shaking their heads at this overwrought monstrosity. Intrinsic worth, zero. I wonder what when it's finished. I don't know about you, but uh, it looks like a big old seat to me. Yeah, it looks like a big old chair. Or whatever they call it. going this way because that's, that's the last way I went. So uh, I'm gonna keep on going this way until I can find it. But I might as well go up here, you know. There's not really much to do. Ooh. Ah. Found some verbena. Okay. Boop.
Take a look at this. Take a look at that. Cool. We lost. This recipe looks real oh, tasty. I got the uh, I like everything on there except the crab. Scout ship setting sail. Yeah. He may be the shepherd Hi. now, but no one knows who he was before the advent, or what he did. No, they don't. But he showed up one day with a malak in tow, routed the demons, and formed a band of skilled young exorcists. That sounds suspicious. Right? But the kingdom readily acknowledged his abilities and his conviction, and threw its full support behind him. Maybe he plans on usurping power for himself. Not likely. He's worked tirelessly to rebuild the church and state, and to shore up the royal family's position. Lining his pockets from the state coffers, then? Not the slightest chance. Rather, he's got all the other higher-ups worried he's working himself to death. Then what's he after? Hmm. Maybe there is no ulterior motive. Maybe he is our shepherd. Whatever the case, if he hadn't shown up when he did three years ago, Midgan would be a smoking ruin. He's not the shepherd. I'm the shepherd. Sleep. Sleep. But anyways, uh, he's not the shepherd. I'm the shepherd. Because he's just a fake one. Who claims he is? Oh, uh. Where'd he go? Fine. Tavern. Oh, I gotta go slay. Oh, I'm tired. Another blue. Pattern. Need 
to find the tavern. Uh, tavern. Oh wait, right, it's right in front of me. Alright. Oh, looks like a pixel drop. I think it'll clear up after we go through the door. Yay! What'll it be? Some food for the boy. Mabo curry is our specialty. It takes a week to stew properly. Mabo curry? Some of that, then. Say, do you know a man named Baskerville? I heard we might find him here. That old man? A scoundrel and criminal who went against the rules of the Abbey. They executed him long ago. Oh. Wow. Sure. Found sure they it. did. This Mabo curry is amazing. Yep. You get along so well. Is he your brother? No. No, he wouldn't be, would he? After all, your brother was murdered before your eyes. How do you know that? The shadows watch those who flinch from the light. So the guild is still active, even after Baskerville's arrest? Yep. That's right. Just like how Eifried's crew continues their piracy, even without their captain. So you're the contact? What may I help you with? I want to know what Artorius is planning. Information such as that? It won't come cheap. I got money. I have here a list of jobs. Not one remotely legal. Take care of all of them. And I'll tell you what you want to know. Three for one? Oh. This is easy. This is pirate stuff. This is easy. Take this with you as documentation. Yeah. It's fake, but it's a good fake. It'll hold up to inspection. It's registered to Mogulu's Menagerie? Oh? Was that not the name you gave to the guard at the gate? <laughs> I can see you're a group to be reckoned with. Report back here once you're finished. However, be aware that should you fail... Then this conversation never took place. Got it. I'll cause you no trouble. I appreciate your understanding. You're welcome to stay the night, free of charge. Forget about work until the morning comes. <sighs> right. You're missing Freed. The captain has done much toward our viability. I promise that I'll share anything I hear about him for that no charge. Ain't nice in a shot glass. That's hell. Thanks. In a shot glass. All we know is there was a pendulum on the ground at the last place he was seen. Uh, and blind that witch Leggett Melchior is connected to the captain's disappearance. How? We don't know. There. No, I'm good. I got liquor. No, he's got Sounds socks. like you've got problems like of your own. Do you really have time to take and on ours as well? I could ask you why you've tied yourself up with Velvet. Ah. Me? I've got a debt to repay. Without her, there's no way I'd have ever found my blade again. A demon repaying a debt? Ridiculous. Yep. As ridiculous as a pirate Moloch, you think? <laughs> hmm. No matter how you look at it, there's nothing reasonable about our rogue existence. And in this brave new world governed by reason, a rogue can either rage and become a monster like me, or... Or band together with others. Like a ship full of pirates, perhaps. Exactly. 
I admire Velvet's courage, squaring off against the whole world on her own. Few can accomplish that. It takes real strength, and I'm curious where it comes from. So you're doing it for yourself after all. Is that so wrong? <sighs> no. I'm the same. I need allies on my side, with the strength and courage to combat this so-called order imposed by the Abbey. But anyone who's willing to put up with the creed folly of Eifried's pirates <laughs> has to be an even bigger fool than we are. So I'm like you. I want to know how deep her foolishness goes. She'd kill you if she heard that, you know. It's a compliment. Fools that big aren't born every day. Aha. Uh -huh. And I imagine your dear Captain Eifried's much the same. Yep. Aye. That man flies his fool flag proudly. Up there switching drinks. They're planning to get drunk. Oh. So you like my sake then? I see. The Shepherd Artorius, hmm? He's got the populace eating from the palm of his hand. I wonder... Hmm... Just how deeply will the fangs of our would-be tragic heroines scar this broken world of ours? A trait to find, but in the meantime, this should be a good show. Everybody's eagle with Maggie though. Hey! No! I don't want cards. Destroying red crates in a warehouse? Doesn't yeah. sound very nice. Have we ever been nice? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose not. This is a contract job, so let's keep costs down. I'll call the Von Eltia and have her draw the guards away. If you would. What will we be destroying? Who knows? That's hardly our concern. Yo, Mama. Hey. A kind face for such a hard woman. She knew about me and our cover. She's got ears everywhere. And that's not all. She called the papers fake, but they're not. So she's got spies working on the inside, too. I heard that her predecessor, Baskerville, was a monument against authority. To think he was executed. They've lost their leader, but remain unconquered. Not an organization to trifle with. That's how they have to be to take on the Abbey. We'd better succeed on our missions, and not just to get the information we need. Yeah. Besides, I'd like to get another of those drinks, too. You're a man of taste. That place always has the best. Uh, Hungry. You'd better work hard too, if you want more Mabo curry. I will. Food. We all have food. Oh, hi. What a wonderful place. Yeah, yeah. ceremony was simply fantastic. Lord Artorius's speech was brilliant, of course, but Prince Percival was really something, too. He raises up yeah. Artorius to help the country and its people, then willingly steps down. Now that's what I call a king. You think so? Well, to me, he just looks like a wimp. He <laughs> may look that way, but he has inner strength. 
He's excelled as a scholar and a leader since he was young. His only hobby is falconry, but sadly I hear he hasn't had the time for it lately. You seem like a big supporter of his. Well, he's got two younger brothers, but just between you and me, they're dolts. Worse, they hang with a bad crowd. If anything were to happen, the future of Midgand would be bleak. I see. So everyone's hopes are riding on him, then. Which means Midgard's vulnerable without him. Greetings, Magilu's menagerie. You've come to exactly the right place. You must be a Bloodwing. What do you want? You already know about the Code Red demons, right? The really strong demons the Abbey wants gone? Yeah. Would you ever consider hunting them down for us? We'll reward you properly. Reward? Why pay us when the Abbey would do it for free? It's complicated. The Abbey is calculating in their deployments, especially where Code Red demons are concerned. I get it. They'll only act if they determine the demon would cause more harm than the losses they incur in battling it. That does seem logical. But sometimes, people have lost a loved one to such a demon. Or sometimes, they have a connection to the person the demon used to be. Wherever there's a Code Red demon, you can bet there are people willing to pay good money to have it killed. <laughs> and let me guess. That's where the Blood Wings come in. Exactly. There are Blood Wings all throughout Midgant who have information on these Code Red demons. If you defeat a demon and report back to my comrades, they'll make sure you're well compensated. All right, I understand. But I won't make any promises. That's fine. No sense in drawing up a contract when the hunter probably won't survive anyway. If you get results, let us know. We'll hold up our end. That being said, I feel guilty if I didn't help out at least a little, so... Here. Take this. Those blood wings are definitely a rough crowd. To be fair, things are never straightforward when you're dealing with demons. All that matters is that there's nothing in it for us if we hunt those code red demons. The only thing better than fighting formidable foes is getting paid for it. Just remember that these code red demons are tough enough to Abby shiver. We'd be nice not to underestimate them. We should talk to those blood wings before considering any of the marks. They might have information that will help us prepare. Yeah, and we better remember to up our equipment. Right. Enough bottles. You can use enough bottles by using L2 while you're in the powder field. Use enough models bottles with good with your location. You can get them from shops or treasure chests. Oh, another one. Hey, Laffy said. What is it, Rokuro? Mabo Curry. Oh. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're an interesting one. You like Mabo Curry that much, huh? Yeah. It smells good, and it's creamy, and kind of spicy. Eating it made me feel nice. I'd say you love it then. Do all Maliki have such an appetite? Each has their own tastes. Some eat a lot, some eat a little. Like human demons. What do you like, Aizen? Drinks, I suppose. What else? Uh, much just drinks. Don't you like anything else? Is it a problem if I don't? No, I'm just one. For me, it's drinks and candied sweet potatoes. That's where you boil strips of potato in oil and then cook them in sugar, right? Yeah, I never get tired of them. So you like to drink, but you've also got a sweet tooth? Yeah. Is that so strange? No. Candied sweet potatoes. Sounds good. 
Uh, there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just a sign that you're alive, remember? Right. Yeah. Just a sign that you're alive. Unlike me. I'm already dead, you know. I live in the fourth dimension. No worries. On to battle. Uh, no. Are you ready to die? Think you can dodge? Shut the cross. around killing things and getting money for it that would be the life Literally. but I can't do that anything else. He was like, nope, not that way. And I'm like, yep, that way. Oh, see, seagulls. Oh, they don't run away. Have you heard? The Abbey I hear is a huge temple in the middle of some mountain near a site of ancient ruins. If they've got time to build a temple, they should use it to kill more demons instead. You sure you want to talk like that here? Ha! I'm different from all those losers who swoon over the shepherd's pretty words and ignore reality. No one's found a way to cure demon blight yet, and demons are still swarming everywhere. Sure, maybe things are not as bad as they could have been. But we still have no idea what's going to happen next. Think about it. Demons could be infiltrating the city as we speak, and we'd be none the wiser. Yep. You're completely right. I really need to get a better core processor. Maybe a graphics hard drive will add it. Ah. 
Well, I guess that's it, guys. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll catch you in a next video later. So, um, again, my name is Ahira Kuriman. And, uh, I guess I'll see y'all later, Mina. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.